Maintaining respect, the art of avoiding personal attacks in debates. Hello everyone, and welcome to our new lesson. Today, we're going to focus on an important aspect of debates and discussions, avoiding personal attacks. The ability to present your views without resorting to personal attacks is crucial in maintaining respect and fostering fruitful discussions. Let's dive in. Personal attacks, often referred to as ad hominem attacks, are when someone rejects or critiques another's views by attacking their character, motive, or other personal attribute instead of addressing the argument itself. In a debate, it's important to focus on the ideas and arguments, not on the person presenting them. Examples of personal attacks can include statements like, you're always wrong, or you're too young to understand this. These comments do not add value to the discussion and can create hostility. How can you tell if you're resorting to personal attacks in your discussions or debates? It's not always obvious, especially if it's part of your habitual way of arguing. Look for statements that target the person instead of the argument. Are you dismissing an argument simply because of who said it? Are you using words that describe the person rather than the issue at hand? If so, you might be engaging in personal attacks. Let's move on to strategies to avoid personal attacks. 1. Stay focused on the topic. Always remember that the debate is about the issue, not about the people involved. By keeping the focus on the topic, you can avoid sliding into personal attacks. 2. Use I statements. This helps to express your perspective without blaming or criticizing the other person. Instead of saying, you're wrong, you could say, I see things differently. 3. Practice active listening. Respect the other person's right to their opinion. Listen carefully to what they're saying and respond to their arguments, not their personality traits or characteristics. 4. Rephrase and confirm understanding. Before you respond to an argument, rephrase it and confirm that you have understood it correctly. This shows respect for the other person's perspective and ensures that you're responding to their argument, not their person. 5. Take a break. If a debate is getting heated and you feel yourself becoming frustrated or angry, it can be helpful to take a short break to regain your composure. But what should you do if you're the recipient of a personal attack during a debate? Try to diffuse the situation by redirecting the conversation back to the topic at hand. You could say, I think we're getting off topic. Can we return to the main issue? Remember, the goal is not to win the debate, but to have a productive, respectful discussion. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Remember, avoiding personal attacks is key to maintaining respect and civility in debates and discussions. Always focus on the argument, not the person making it. This will make your debates more productive and enjoyable for everyone involved. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, Happy debating.